Hello everyone, Dave here from Tres Studios and today I wanted to show you how to hook an action camera up and use it as a webcam and also how to um, take time lapses with your Windows computer because it's the, the Windows 10 program the camera interface has a time lapse function within it and um, I just kind of stumbled upon it so I figured I'd share that with you guys as well um, the camera I'm going to be hooking up today is the Acaso V50 Pro, um, but I've I've done it with many different action cameras, and I believe all, almost all action cameras can do it. It just might be a little bit slightly different, and I'll get into that a little bit as we go through that uh, with this Acaso V50 Pro that we'll be um, hooking up today as a webcam and see how it compares to the Logitech C920 because that is the webcam that I have. Okay, well let's get into it. Okay guys, so here I want to show you on the Acaso. Uh, this is the Acaso V50 Pro Special Edition, um, but it would be the same probably for any uh, Acaso camera. Um, so we want to go into the settings and we want to go into this it's the setup menu that we want there you can see in the lower uh, right hand corner okay and now we want to scroll through these until we get to USB connection and then USB we're going to select the blue button or you can touch it and then it says storage or PC camera and you can see that I've selected PC camera uh, by default it will be set to storage and so now that we've done that we can go ahead and hook this camera um, to our computer with the USB cord that comes with this um, camera it's a USB to mini USB so any any USB to mini USB uh, will work so let's go ahead and we'll hook this up okay guys so now that I've got the camera ready I'm going to go into my Windows 10 computer and down in the lower left hand corner at the start menu you can select um, put this near this scroll over the start button and then the menu comes up and what we want is camera and that will allow you to access uh, the web camera that's either built into your computer or one that you have plugged in and you can it will access one of two cameras you have the ability to toggle between two choices so we'll go ahead and click on that and it brings up the um, I don't know if you guys saw that but it, it said C920 and that's because it picked up my my Logitech C920. That noise that we just heard, that was the uh, Acaso turning itself off. Um, but anyway, so let me show you. When I turn the camera around, nothing there because I don't have a secondary camera hooked up yet. So when I turn it back, you'll see the uh, HD Pro webcam uh, C920, I believe it said. So that's my Logitech um, webcam. It's a good webcam. But let's go ahead and now I'm going to have to um, hook up the Acaso. So I have this cable. Here's my USB port. And I have the uh, labeled the Acaso V50 Pro right there. And that cable I just ran it up over here. So I can plug it into the side here. Okay, now we're plugged in. And now I'm going to go ahead and turn this camera on with the red button up top. And so I just have it on a, um, a swivel head up there. So it's a, a clamp with a swivel head on it. and. Um, I'll have a link to those in the description. Those are really handy guys. I use them all the time for all kinds of stuff. But anyway, now we should be able to turn the camera. Let me, see. Let me show you guys. Now I'm still on the Logitech, but now 
when I go to turn the camera around. Now it says connecting. I don't know why it's having trouble. I've done it before many times and it didn't have a problem. I have a feeling that the problem was... Okay, now it's saying the Acaso Pro. Let me show you. So here's the C920. Well, it just disappeared. I was trying to show you guys. And now when I rotate the camera down here, it's going to show you a wider view and a better view in my opinion. There's, okay, V50 Pro SE. So there is the Acaso. And I can show you that it's working because I'm going to go up here and show you that if I move it, well, that's a strong clamp. Whoop. So you can see So you can see that um, that's the camera I'm filming with is the Acaso. Okay guys, so now we are recording with the Acaso V50 Pro SE. I wanted to do some clips right um, from the camera and the computer instead of using my camcorder pointing at the computer. So this clip is a, um, will show you how the Acaso v V50 Pro SE did. At, um, 30 frames per second full HD and now I'm going to end this clip and then I'll I'll do the um, C920 okay guys now we are on the Logitech C920 so you can see uh, the difference I believe um, that the Acaso V50 Pro SE gives a, a better image a nicer image um, but uh, you guys decide and um, if you have an action camera it's fun just to play with it and see see how it looks to you you're going to have definitely a wider field of view um, and that is also you can also change that in the action camera settings um, you usually have um, at least two some action cameras like the Acaso have um, I believe it has narrow wide and super wide so I think it has three but anyway I'm not sure what it was set at I think it was set at wide but um, yeah not super wide but anyway um, you can change that in the action cameras and have um, you can make it a narrower view. But anyway, uh, that's the difference, and I think that I think that the quality from the um, action cam is better myself. Okay, guys. So what else I wanted to show you was um, that there's a nifty little feature in your Windows 10 uh, camera interface here. This is the camera interface, right? Uh, that I just showed you where to go and we are using the Acaso but if you go up here into settings you can do time lapses with um, your webcam if you see here it says time lapse time lapse when the timer is on keep taking pictures keep taking photos until I press the, the button again so in other words, um, it will take a picture and the timer is set on every two seconds to take a picture. I think that's the minimum you can do. But so if I hit take a picture, I'll show you guys, it's just going to keep taking them. One. Oh, no, it's not. I'm sorry. Um, I didn't set it up. The timer's over here. Photo timer, two second timer, five second timer, ten second timer. Timer was off. So now I put the I put the timer on two seconds. And now when I go over here, um, and I select and I hit the camera item, not the not the movie um, camera, but the still stills photo. and now it'll take a picture every two seconds and so you'll have a time lapse and now that'll keep going until you turn it off so this could be cool if you um, if you wanted to take a time lapse with your webcam you know point it out the window or um, leave it on when you go out and see what the dogs do or whatever you know um, just I just thought I'd throw that in in there for you guys because um, it was a feature that I I just kind of stumbled upon it. Um, one thing I've got to tell you though, if you do use that, 
Let me turn this camera around. So if you do use that, that feature, guys, you'll have, um, what it will do is it doesn't put the time lapse together for you. It puts, <laughs> it makes a folder and gives you all the photos in the folder. And then you have to select them all and then you can go into Windows Photo and import them all and then in there you'd be able to make it into a time lapse video. So anyway guys that is that concludes today's video. Um, basically I just wanted to show you guys how easy it is to use a um, a action cam as a webcam and I think it does as good or better of a job. Um, this uh, the Acaso camera was um, a little bit more expensive new uh, than the Logitech um, C920 um, but you know like you can do a lot of other things with it you can use it as an action cam and then bring it home and use it as a webcam now the um, also another thing I wanted to let you guys know is the camera app or interface that you're using on your Windows 10 machine only goes up to uh, full HD 1080 uh, uh, 30 frames per second so you can't get 4k even if your action camera does 4k uh, it won't work on this camera interface however um, there are other camera interfaces um, or like OBS studio is a free um, free one where you could hook up even more than two cameras to toggle between um, but this one will allow you to, to toggle between two cameras at least. Um, I'm not sure if it would let you toggle between the native camera built into the, into the computer as well as two others. I think it just will allow you to toggle between two. It considers one a back facing and one a front facing for some reason. So I, I think it only allows you two cameras. Uh, but OBS is a free one and that would allow you to um, to get a higher output from your camera or to hook up more cameras. Anyway guys, that was my review, or that was my um, my little video on how to do that and the time lapse, I figured I'd throw that in there because it's a feature I didn't know about until I stumbled on it. Anyway, I hope you guys are well and remember, take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.